Hello friends, welcome to the new section and in this section we will learn how to define the load combination in our restructure. So we have done all the things uh, that are required. So we have applied all kinds of loads uh, including the seismic load, dead load and the live load. Now we will see how we make the load combinations. Uh, let me first tell you why we need to make that uh, load combination. So load combination is basically the combination of the loads okay so simple as that so what happens is that our building is not subjected to a single kind of load so it is subjected to uh, many kinds of load so we got the uh, dead load and we got the live load and we got the earthquake load and earthquake load we got in the four directions so two in the x and two in the z direction right so right now we are not applying the load in the vertical direction we have to make the combination of all these loads so that our structure is safe in all the load combinations so, uh, what kind of load combination we make you can get uh, the load combinations from is 1893 also you get the load combination from is 456 uh, so these are the Indian codes. So you definitely must have the load combination in the code that is followed in your country. So in IS 456, we got uh, 13 load combinations. And in IS 1893 also uh, takes the load combination from IS 456. Uh, but it also adds some extra load combinations uh, considering the conditions of the structure. Uh, let me first show you uh, this IS 1893 load combinations. So here if you go to clause 6.3.2 of IS 1893 2016 or you also have the, got this load combination in 2002 as well. So it says that so when lateral load resisting elements are not oriented uh, along mutually orthogonal horizontal directions as per 7.1 table 5e structures shall be designed for the simultaneous effects due to full design earthquake load in one horizontal direction plus 30 percent of design earthquake load along the other horizontal direction so what it means to say is that uh, suppose if our structure is not uh, orthogonal which means that uh, suppose if our structure is something uh, you know like this so it might you know our structure might be like this so uh, when uh, does this happen is that uh, for example we got a plot uh, like this so plot of our structure is something like this okay uh, let's say we got the building here and let's say we got you know some kind of other structure here and the owner's land is only this much portion so in this situation he doesn't want to make only this much of building because this much of area will be left out so what he will do he will make a building just like this right and sometimes the uh, the plot areas are like this right so in those situations also the client will make the you know the structure just like this okay according to the plot so in that case what happens is that so these you can see that this z direction and this uh, x direction they are not orthogonal so they are not perpendicular to each other so in this case uh, what the course says that okay so before that i'll show you what happens when the structure is orthogonal so when the structure is perfectly 90 degree you know in both the directions so in x and in the z direction Okay, if this is 90 degree so in this case uh, in this case what we do we make the load combination like 1.2 uh, let's say that so dead load plus live load plus we'll take only the load or, or you can say the earthquake load in one direction at a time eqx will take so we got 1.2 another so dl plus live load minus eqx that is in the negative similarly we will do for the eqz as well so e plus eqz and minus eqz so here you can see that we have taken the load uh, earthquake load in only one direction at a time but the code says that when these two directions are not orthogonal to each other or not perpendicular to each other in that case you cannot take the load in only one direction at a time so what do you have to do you have to take the load in one direction at a time eqx plus we have to take the 30 percent of the load on the other direction so that is 0 0.3 times eq z okay so this is just one combinations so you got plus minus eqx and plus minus eqz so you got all these load combinations here so if i uh, go back to the code 
okay so plus minus elx so that is the earthquake load in the x direction plus minus 0.3 ely or here it's elz in star pro and similarly when you take the full load in the y direction or you can say the z direction then you have to take the 30 percent load in the x direction so as you can see that our structure is pretty much regular so it doesn't have that kind of regularity so in that case we don't have to consider that load combination so this 30 percent extra load combination and we can go with our 13 load combination as described by is 456 or also by is 1893 but if your structure is not like this if it has got that irregularity in that case you must take that 30 percent extra load uh, load in the non-orthogonal direction so and when you take that 30 percent extra load combination in that case the load combination turns out to be this one so you have to take 1.2 dead load plus live load uh, so il is imposed load uh, that is live load so plus you have to take plus ones so that is elx and you take plus so 0.3 ely and and after that what you do you make the another with uh, keeping the plus elx minus 0.3 ely after that it's minus elx plus 0.3 ely and it's minus elx minus 0.3 ely so you get the four load combinations from this single line that is presented over here and similarly uh, here also you got four load combinations and similarly you get the load combinations here as well four for eight for six for 12 16 20 and 24 all right we got all these load combinations